Time for physics, guys. Physics one. Two big books here included. And the instructor's guide is for you. You're going to want to keep this in an easy to find place. It's going to be your go-to for the entire school year. It's built in a very easy to understand, accessible way. If we open up, for example, to week 16, you'll see that there's the title, things that fly, and then a weekly schedule for four days. You can squeeze that into two, a lot of parents do. The resources to the left, a quick overview. Just spending five minutes looking at the calendar and the overview uh, is gonna put you miles ahead uh, once Science Day comes around for the coming week. On to day three and four, and there are some bolded answers for those questions included. Very easy to stay organized. If you look at the table of contents, you'll see that also. Built into units with subtopics. Lab manual, the big boy. There it is. This is your student's guide to doing the experiments. They'll be using this book. They'll be writing in this book. You might be making photocopies of some of the pages laid out very similarly to the instructor's guide. You see the four day schedule, the resources to the left, and then a quick overview, and then flip to the next page. This is where it gets really good. You have the big question. The big question you're gonna, you're gonna be reflecting on. You're gonna be thinking about. We have the materials needed for week nine activities, quick instructions, and then a, a wonderful summary at the end, uh, just kind of wrapping up what, you, what the, or what you guys have learned about. All right, living books. And yeah, yeah, we gotta put this guy on top. All right, Galileo, you've heard of all these people. And Isaac Newton, Alexander Graham Bell. This is a different style biography for an earlier reader. And there's some fabulous old art in here and photographs and even photographs of some of his sketches. The Wright brothers, Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. And then again, our great friend saving us from sudden and certain doom, Max Axiom. And you got a series of Max Axiom graphic comic book style books here this time. A book I've used in the classroom before. This one's fabulous, Story of Inventions. How to Lift a Lion, some exercises in physics there. Okay, some, some fun here, now in Ben. And then lastly, book about space. There's a percentage of kids who just get obsessed about space and they will love this book, The Experiment Bundle. They are labeled with all the weeks that apply. And all the difficult stuff, the difficult stuff to curate, put in a nice package system that make it accessible and exciting too. Simple machines. Building is key for understanding, especially understanding physics, right? So you can practice some prototyping and engineering skills while you learn about levers, while you learn about forces, while you learn about magnetism. These activities, these resources are curated in a way that you're hitting the most important topics, you're hitting the most important um, ideas, but there's always gonna be more available because of the way this has been set up. The living books, the activities, there are more than are required to complete the lab manual, in other words. And that is Physics 1.